Bachelor, Doom and Son, album review. Let's chat about it. Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here tonight to chat about this debut album from Bachelor, aka Ellen Kempner of Pale Hound fame, as well as Melissa May to turn from JSOM. Now, in their respective acts, I have enjoyed these ladies for years, especially JSOM, because the last time she dropped an album, it was one of my favorite albums of the year. And this is their debut album together. I was super excited for this, but why are some of these singles like super inoffensive and super safe? I don't know. I feel like they're better than this. Let's chat about it. I will say this. A good hunk of this album is just feel good indie. Like not for nothing, Back in My Hand is just a great intro. I mean, it plays to both of their strengths. I mean, there are nods on this track to both JSOM and Palehound. And honestly, I figured that we'd hear a lot more of that throughout this album. I love the whisper quiet vocals and the throwback riff. This, I don't know, it just makes me feel really good. It's overall where I kind of thought this whole album was going to be. And not for nothing, Stay in the Car may be the best track here. And at first, I wasn't feeling it. I don't know, this just wasn't what I was expecting to hear. But honestly, these ladies performed the hell out of this track. It is pretty raw. I love the crunchy riff, and something about this track reminds me of some of the old school 90s indie that I used to be into. And I love the laid back, carefree vibes of Sick of Spiraling. Lyrically, it's just so adorable and sweet. Once again, it makes me feel good. It feels like, I don't know, this was just written by two great friends or two people who really care about one another. I have nothing bad to say about this, but I will say this, when this album gets bad, it is so safe. Like shockingly so like take for example sand angel this is by far my least favorite track here this is so bad i don't mind a softer track from these ladies they do some dream pop stuff later on that sounds great but this is just boring went out without you isn't exactly saving the softer side of this album either i don't want to be like that i don't want to be that guy that says that the softer side of this album is is a little more boring but there is like nothing to fall back to on this track it is so flimsy, and these ladies, they're both great vocalists, but they just sound so uninspired here. Since the first time I heard I have not been into anything at all. Once again, both of these ladies have dabbled in the poppier side of indie and done so pretty well. This is not that, though. This is one of the most obnoxious tracks here. I don't know, something about this track just doesn't sit well with me and the big crunchy riff that comes crashing in after the chorus isn't saving it either. And you know, I thought the end of this album was going pretty well, and then I heard the title track. And lyrically, I love this track. I love how quaint it is. It's actually really nice. But this is way too soft, way too sunny for my liking. It's been my least favorite style of track here, and this is not winning me over. I will say this, though. The ladies break out some risks in the second portion of this album and actually give me some hope for the future of this project. Spin Out is really good for a myriad of other reasons. This is not the straight up indie pop and indie rock that I expected. This is straight hazy dream pop. It's super hazy. It's super great to just drift away with. And some of the vocal harmonies, man, like these are great. I wish we got more risks like this. And Moon is easily my favorite deep cut here. Yes, it is on the slower side, but it is also one of the most genuinely emotional and heartbreaking tunes here. I love how dreary and nocturnal it just comes off. Oh, it's so good. And Aurora, I don't know where this is coming from, but this is great. This is an awesome, gorgeous ballad that is so visual and so well written. It is hypnotic and intense and raw. I don't know where this is coming from. It's absolutely beautiful. I just, I don't know. Like, I was expecting this album to be really, really just solid throughout, but some of the softer tracks on here are just so flimsy and just can feel like they fall apart at any freaking moment. Some of the riffs are nice. Some of the indie rock and indie pop is very pleasant, but I feel like it also just went in one ear and went out the other. Some of the risks, the more dreamier pop stuff here that they did, actually gives me hope for this project in the future. But for now, I think it's very average. I'm feeling a very strong six on this album, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, guys.